our time of uh, our congregational prayer. Um, I did hear that uh, Lita Hoving is, is in the hospital, and uh, I don't know what state or how she's doing, or, um, but she is in the hospital. Um, second, is there, any, is there any other concerns that, uh, that is on people's hearts that they want to share? Absolutely. Absolutely. Anybody else? And of course, uh, we actually sell it. Jared? Absolutely. And we could celebrate, oh, Clarence. Yes, yes. I won't try to say his last name. Um, then also we celebrate uh, um, Alan's daughter um, had, a, had a baby, baby, baby boy. And I did hear about it when it happened. I actually, I gave, I gave Lisa a hug on the day of, so, um, wow, time flies. So, praise God for that. All right, let's uh, come before our God, congregational prayer. Heavenly Father, we uh, come before you this morning, and we thank you for, uh, for who you are. We thank you that uh, for your life-giving spirit that you put in each and every one of us. We thank you, Lord, for the salvation that we have in Jesus Christ. We thank you that, uh, that we can trust in the resurrection and the life. We thank you that our sins are forgiven and that we have hope and eternal life, that we have a home in heaven with you. And that's our hope. And that's our joy. And we're, uh, it's considered a privilege to be able to share that with the world. Father, we also bring our needs and concerns before you as well. And uh, we, we pray for the harvest time, Lord. We pray that uh, you would keep farmers safe on the road as they travel and as they get the rest of their crops off, Lord. We pray for... Um, Pray over the family of, of Curtis. He was tragically lost in a, in a car accident here last week. And he lost his life. 25 years old. Just bought his grandfather's farm. Just a, a young man full of life. And his life was taken away. And uh, Lord, those are the things we, we struggle with. And, and we don't understand. And we, don't, we, we, we ask the questions, why? So, Father, we just ask that uh, you just comfort that family, that you just come upon that family with, uh, with just your presence, your comforting presence. Bring people around them to be able to, to be there for them and to support them. We pray for Jeanette and just, we pray over her calf muscle. We just pray, Lord, that it would just be healed, Lord, that you would bring relief from pain. Give her relief, Lord. We give you thanks, Lord, for, uh, for Alan and Lisa and their daughter Elizabeth and, and Derek and their new baby. And it's such a joy to be able to, to hold a new baby in your arms, to be able to just, just yeah, it's, it's a wonderful thing. It's, it's a marvel from you to be able to see new life. And so we just ask that you, you bless that family and, and, uh, and Father, just, just be with uh, um, Elizabeth and, and Derek as, as they raise their children and care for that newborn. And Father, we know that there's many concerns in our congregation that are unspoken, that uh, people may not want to talk about. We also pray, Lord, that you work in each and every one of those hearts and bring comfort and bring healing. 
We also pray for Lita, Ho Lita, who's in the hospital. We pray, Lord, that you would bring her home soon. We pray that you would bring her healing, but most bring her comfort, bring her peace, bring her the assurance that you are with her. And of course, for Edith, as she continues with her ongoing struggle with, uh, with cancer, and I know she's in remission, but there's still just concerns that she continues to have with fatigue. We just pray for her as well. And Father, we lift up the leaders of this church. We pray that you give them joy. We pray that you give them wisdom. We pray that you give them understanding as they serve, whether it's leaders of gems or cadets, whether it's leaders of the youth group, whether it's our elders or our deacons, whether it's those in our worship team, those running the sound system, those uh, teaching catechism. There's many that work behind the scenes as well. And we just pray that you would give them joy as they serve you and show them that their work is for a greater purpose. It's not for themselves, but it's, it's ultimately to glorify you. We pray for our pastor Dan and Gwyneth as, as um, they were at a cottage this past week and we just pray for a time of refreshing and we just pray, Lord, that, uh, that you would just um, give inspiration and just give wisdom and just give rest um, to Pastor Dan, Gwyneth, and the family, Lord, as, uh, as they minister and shepherd this congregation. And Lord, uh, we just bring all these concerns to you, and we know that you hear our prayers because you are good, you are loving, and, uh, and, and you know each and every one of us by name. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay.